Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to talk about the XY, the touch plate on the Abbott CNC. And the, people use these touch plates for all different kinds of CNC's, so I think the, I think the, the story will be very similar. So, Okay, so what I learned is when you when you're doing a touch plate and if you're using a V-bit like a, no matter what kind of V-bit it is, a 90 degree V-bit, a 60 degree V-bit, if you start off your project doing your XYZ, your Y and your X with the with the V-bit, what happens is the V-bit because it's tapered and this goes with the round uh, even if you use a bowl bit or round bit, any bit that's not a straight cut bit, what happens is it's coming over here to the to the Y, and it touches there. But you can see it's way past. You know, it, it's it's past its half. Like this is a half inch diameter, and it goes past it when it touches. Same same when it comes over here on the on the X axis, it goes past it. And what was happening is. Your, your projects would be off by a quarter inch. And then even on, with a bowl bit, the bowl bit would come over on my juice catchers and I would check those and they'd be off an eighth of an inch. So what I found out was before you, if you're doing a project and you wanna be dead center of your project and you're using your touch plate, the first thing you need to do is do the XYZ with a straight cut bit. So the straight cut bit will come down, touch off, and then you'll, you'll put the flute over to the edge, go over there, get the Y, come over here, get the X, and then it'll come back up. Then take this bit out, put your V-car bit on, but this time you're just, gonna, you're just gonna touch off and then come back up and then, and then run your program, and you'll get a perfect one every time. So that's something I learned and I thought I would share since I recently learned that. Anyway, everything's a learning experience, and I, I really enjoy learning. And and to to find out about this, what what I was doing wrong, it really saved me for future projects that I won't make those same mistakes and it cost you a lot of time and money. So, yeah, the moral of the story is the X Y Z always with a straight bit, and if you're doing a V carve change it out and then just touch off on the Z only and you'll get a perfect result every time. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in any of the projects that we make, cutting boards and stuff, we do have a little store now, outlawwoodworking.bigcartel.com and I'll leave a link in the description. We don't always have some of the items, they sell out really quick and, I, and it, I'm just here by myself making them up in the mountains. So, But I do have a pretty good range of uh, cutting boards and uh, I ship them all over the United States for free shipping too. Just the one size though. And um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Look at this deer laying down outside my office right now. Happy as can be. It's beautiful out there right now. Cold, but it's beautiful.